Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And I appreciate you taking the time to come hang out with me because today we're playing Build Box games. I love playing Build Box games because when you play Build Box games and you use Build Box to make games, you're able to just get an idea of how things work and see something you like. Then you start to wonder how to do that and then maybe do it yourself in your own game. The games that we're playing today were from the Build Box and Quality Game Jam that I haven't had a chance to play before because I was busy making my own game, but I'm trying to relax right now because <laughs> the stress of making a game can get to you. And I find playing a game is a great way to just take a break from making games. Life is complicated, so try to keep it simple. We're gonna start off with the number one winner, Color Ramp by Tapman Game. Now, Color Ramp is influenced by by Stack Colors, which is a voodoo game. Here we got a very simple UI screen. It looks amazing. Look at the little car running. I would say the only thing it's missing is like a little bit of exhaust or something, but <laughs> don't even need that. We got instructions on how to move. We got the haptic feedback icon in the top left, and even the words color ramp highlight what's gonna be happening here. Get this game going. Great movement feel, it's kind of isometric. And right off the bat, we already understand exactly what we're gonna do and already got that rainbow invincibility going. Ah, look at that, level one success. Confetti flying everywhere. And I don't know if you noticed, but that confetti is 3D confetti. When using Buildbox, you get to decide, do I want 2D confetti and 3D confetti? I like the 2D, but it's important to have your preferences. Oh, oh. I wonder what happens if you knock the wrong one. Okay, so you kind of like lose health. So you give it a lot of leeway. The red kind of looks like an orange to me. It's a little confusing, but uh, you know, I got it, I got it. Look at those rainbow trails. Now this is like a trail effect pro master user. I wish I could do trails like this. If you notice, they actually kind of expand the further out they get. Oh, I died. I was stopping too much, that's okay. I also very much enjoy how the ball, the, the cubes just fly up in the air. That just gives it that extra understanding of physics is real in this ramp tow truck driving world. Oh man, this is like the cutest truck ever. Is that just me? Is anyone else? Oh yeah. Busted through walls is always the most fun. Oh crap. Oh, and I'm still rainbow? Okay, cool. Oh, yellow. Ugh. Oh, don't want to die again. Color ramp meets the hyper casual agenda very well in terms of quicker gameplay, fun, movement, left and right movement, simple movements. Yeah, oh my god, this is great. Okay. Bust through that. And this game just feels complete and finished. It's clear to see why Color Ramp was the number one place winner of the Build Box Game Jam. That game was great. Next, I'm super excited. We are gonna check out Totter Box that came in second place. I didn't even know this was on the App Store. Like, granted, I was busy in my own world making my own games, but I saw this game. I wanted to play it, and now I can because I have time. Totter Box was made by Victor Dan from Dark Sandwich Studios. Okay, we got good music. That's great. We got the dude. He's clearly having a great time. Victor clearly understands how to import FBX. Please teach me. <laughs> and get characters to dance. Probably on this column that's moving back and forth. We got boxes flying from the background. And we got a unique font type displaying Tata Box. Dude's dancing. And then there's just cool images shooting off in the background. Let's get into some more dancing. Tips, collect all three coins and don't totter. Totter, I don't know what totter means. I think that means like linger around for too long. That's my guess. Sounds like a British term. Okay, we got a little joystick here. I'm always not a fan of visually seeing the joystick, but that's because I think everybody instantly knows what I'm thinking. So having a joystick is a great way to just get people to 
uh, understand how movement and controls work. And whoa, that was dope. Did you? See the world was moving, and what is this? This is he, more dancing and shooting stars in the background. Awesome, love a complete. I feel accomplished. You know, I'm like super trying to analyze everything. I would say that the shadows on the uh, dude look a little weird, but that's like good problem. That's like, there's a way to reduce that too. I forget, but you can play with the shadow settings so it's less, but literally nobody notices things like that but me. Awesome, if we hit the play button. I always prefer that single one touch, but again, when you make your own game, you get to do what you want. Let's get to the next level. Okay, so, Understanding the physics a little bit better, you gotta be careful how long you're on one side or you're just gonna you're just gonna fall down and then that'll be lame. Okay, okay, go go. Great sound effects. This game is super hyper casual. You can just play this on the subway and then 30 seconds later, get off your stop and go to work and go get some coffee at Dunkin' Donuts. Even though you have to walk through Penn Station, which is like a butthole of New York. No! Sorry, I'm just remembering when I used to play hyper casual games on the subway to work and I had to go through Penn Station. It's something that will probably traumatize anyone who has to do that on the daily. Better luck, next bonus. Level five. Look at those wall cabinets. Okay, so we're missing a coin somewhere. Gotta explore the whole small little level world. What happens to go this way? Oh, then you just fall to your death. When I play my games, I always try to see if I can like kill myself in a way that doesn't register and from what I can tell this is working great oh you see how the effect oh no no come on come on uh, all right let me focus here we got this definitely go there first get that jump even it up okay and what I noticed there, level 6 has beautiful level design. It forces you to go to the right, or actually, if you don't go to the right, then when you instantly go to the left, you die. That's what happened the first time I played it. This is level design and very well thought out, and you don't even notice it. That's the beauty of it. Oh, shit. Okay, so that is a good teaching level, and I wanted to get those gems before I get all the coins. Okay, so now we're taking it to 3D, the best part of Buildbox, and my favorite thing, and probably the most difficult to learn and get used to, is moving in a 3D world. But look at this, this is great. And you use gravity, oh, up, up, up. And you use gravity to your advantage. Gravity in Buildbox is Okay, so that is a little bit confusing because well, that was a bonus level. I was confused because I didn't get the coins to complete the level, but I remember now that was a bonus level. Tip, collect all five coins and don't totter. Yeah, don't totter. <laughs> Sorry, that's just not, it's, it's, it's not in my vernacular. I have a very, I don't know, man. My English is weird. I wouldn't trust it. I've lived in too many places. Ah, I to get the coin. I wish they were switched. Let's keep going. I saw this on a trailer. Very cool. I kind of wish the boxes would have blown up, but oh crap. Those boxes are clearly kinematic objects. No, the bombs are kinematic objects and the boxes are dynamic objects and dynamic objects can go through kinematic objects because that's how game physics works. <laughs> it's confusing. It doesn't always work like that. It all depends on how everything is set up. I am totally gonna use this in my own way, but I I love this. It's like a horizon finish line. This is beautiful. This, this to me is art and I want to do something like that too. I always 
Oh crap. Playing games to like their 20th level to me is getting a real good understanding of the game. But this game, I'll probably keep playing it for a while. <laughs> I play a lot of games though. Oh, did you see him jump? That was cool. Very nice. I wonder if there's like a game center set up on this. Game center is like so easy to set up, but it's, it's also very confusing. That sounds like Bill Dark. Okay, cool. A strong recommendation on this game. We're just gonna finish this bonus level because the bonus levels are the coolest. And look at the texture on the ground too. I think that is very new yeet very unique and very important in hyper casual games as well because if you just have a flat ground then when when somebody moves across when a character moves across a flat ground you don't see anything you don't notice anything it's not that big of a deal but when they move over a textured ground then that's a big deal very cool i did want to give a shout out to donuts delivery i have played this game to like the first 50 levels. This game is amazing, it's super simple. Oh, I'm at 42, okay. You basically just rearrange the donuts. Oh man, it's been a while since I played this game. Oh wait, maybe I can just beat this whole right there like that. Boom. Super fun game. This game got third place. It's out on the app store now. And Vitkes and his games were all built with Buildbox 2. He has a new game coming out called Balance Stuff. Very good. Vitkes is a UI UX designer. He creates the art too, which to me is the coolest thing because it looks amazing and it's fun to play. Respect. Next, let's check out Color Swatch by Fatima Rasid. This is a fun game and super simple of just like matching colors. Specifically, think primary colors. I like the music and I like how the sound is on the UI so that you can mute it if you want to. Super important in Buildbox. If you don't have that in Buildbox, then your users, your players can get frustrated if they're listening to music. And if you have music playing, there's a line of code you can implement in Xcode that doesn't stop a player's like Spotify or Apple music. Check out one of my videos for that because if you don't put that code in and I play your game, then I'm kind of, uh. I like the option to listen to my music first and then listen to the game music. But at the end of the day, it takes a lot of work to just even finish a game. That's an accomplishment in itself. Let's check out this game. So I'm at level six right now and basically you just make colors. So these two colors make orange and these two colors, yeah, look at that. Super simple, great movements. And the cool thing is, you move each character or each little jello. Awesome animation. Should be clear, I'm amazing at this game, so. It's not that I'm amazing at this game, it's that I really understand primary colors. <laughs> Wait, did I do level 10 twice? No. Okay, so we got some interesting stuff going on here. Okay, so I missed some, let's try that again. Oh, I know. No. Look at that. Okay, so these get a little challenging. I mean, not too challenging, but <laughs> not straight, not straight easy either. Okay. I feel like these two colors just match. Okay, okay. Obviously I'm a genius. Color matching comes easy to me. But this went from straightforward easy to uh, take a moment and think about it. Okay. Ah. 
Notice how all the jellies don't move at the same time. That is beautifully done. That is not an accident. That is thought out by Tima planned in advance. And this is a cool thing about game development that if you plan it, you can make it work. your advantage. Yeah, nah. Okay, let me do this last one. Something like that. Shit, was I not supposed to do that? No. Okay, we need a purple. And we need an orange. Uh, oh yeah. All the links to these games will be down below and next we are checking out Bank Bandit by Will Greenland. The trailers on this looked amazing. <laughs> I'm ready to do whatever we got going on. If you've ever messed with Buildbox, you've seen this bank before. We got play, settings, uh, we got a little park going on with the shadows. We are in 3D people. Shadows. Very cool. Let's jump into it. Okay. Clearly robbing a bank. Here we don't have a, a joystick showing us where to go, which is okay because I... Oh, wait. Here, let's see if we do this. Okay. Oh, I got it. So this is how you move around, and then when you release, it pushes the people out of the way. Okay, we don't want to run over... Oh, did I see a coin? Yo, the horses turn to nothing. To rubble. Okay, wait, wait, let's... Get the driving good. Oh, sh crap. So the control is... Mm. The control takes time to kind of learn. You can see it slows down a little bit, but overall this is a lot of fun. Oh, I need to find one more coin. Okay, so that's my goal. My goal is to look for the coins. This map is... Oh, there it is. So I gotta level up. Okay, so now we are in level 2 mode. And... Oh, look. Were there stacks of cash in the trunk before? I don't remember. I will check out the replay. Now sometimes here you can see it's running a little bit slow and I think it's because there's probably a lot of processing power and the people when they walk it looks like they're kind of floating again that's what adding more texture to what is on the ground will help reduce that but I don't think most people would notice something like that I just play a lot of games oh, I want to like destroy some of this stuff 10 of 10 coins. I think we're still always looking for the coin here. Now, the issue when you don't like restart or load another level like this game is presenting is it continuously slows down the processing power on your phone because it doesn't give it a chance to reset. That could be the design of the game, 100% that the game is designed that you eventually die and then it will reset. And I'll show you because I'll die and when I reload into the game it will be a lot faster. You can see it's slowing down a little bit, little by little, and that's because of all these dudes. And these dudes don't go anywhere. Like in Buildbox, if you create an asset or an object, eventually you will need to remove it just to slow down the processing speed because anybody who has Android knows Buildbox has a long way to go when it comes to Android. And I'm on an iPhone XS. Um, but let's see what happens if I die. And oh wait, are they punching the vehicle? It's like some auto sound. Finally died. 
It's kind of like going through an endless with level ups, which I think is a great idea. If it wasn't for the fact that the game slows down and there's ways you could get rid of that in terms of if the enemy is so far distance away from the character, then they get removed. Overall, that was a lot of fun. The control is unique. And I think of my game, Ball Meets World, where I have a similar, the character could move in a 360 type of environment. We're in 3D, this is Billbox. So we're doing 3D here. Too bad, it took, I would say, longer than I'm used to to try to understand what was going on, but I got there. And here we can see that you have to click on, like I'm, I'm not clicking on the button. Uh, you have to click on the button. Goldbox sets it up like that to make it real easy. So you click on the button. Me personally, I like it that you can click anywhere, but we got all the information here. We got game over, the coins, and let's check it out again. Well, we'll see what level I'm at. Is, am I back at level one or am I at level 17? Okay, so it starts all over. So we're going for like an endless game to see what level you can get to. The biggest issue is the better you do, the slower the game may get, but uh, it could be that the whole game is kind of at this speed anyways. Yeah, I mean, actually, the, the speed's not bad. I guess I'm used to other games where the speed is fast. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm dying. Um, I've noticed that I quickly... Ah, love this intro. Great intro. Beautifully done. That is like the best intro ever. Yeah, sometimes I feel like it moves great and other times it could be better. And as you notice, my movement has gotten a lot better. Again, I am a professional, so it's, it's still kind of moving kind of slow. I was bank banded by Will Greenland. Lastly, we are checking out Panic Demic by Catch Fest. And Billbox wrote a really great blog post about Catch and being a teenager in Vancouver who has a lot of challenges, a super supportive family, and lives in Vancouver. Vancouver is a beautiful, it's like an epic city. It's definitely the most expensive Canadian city, but my number one favorite Canadian city, Montreal's number two, and Toronto's number three. It's the all unique and different in every way. Every place in the world is different. It's easy to say that when you've lived in all those places. Canadians are always super nice. Sometimes the ones in Vancouver have a little road rage. Anyways, panic, demic, let's focus. So I was reading the Build Box blog post and there was all this information about the skins and I thought that was brilliant. Now, I think this game, this one is made in Build Box 2 and I'm definitely selecting dance party themes. If you don't know this, I used to break dance and I got moves. I got, I got all the moves. Let's go. Wait. Okay, cool. Okay, okay. To be clear, I don't know how to play this game. That, that didn't work. Okay. Maybe I gotta find an ace? Yeah, see? Okay, so this kind of makes me think of solitaire in a way. Super easy to scroll. That's, I mean, being able to just move and understand what's going on is kind of super important. I know I've seen people play my game and they just, <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. And um, that's why I think it's always important to have people who don't know how to play games, play your game, because then you can try to bridge that gap. I play a lot of games and I'm able to just like look at things and guess and play. Joker, Joker, oh snap. I think that's good. No, that sounded, that sounded bad. Joker, oh, because I'm going too slow probably. Yo, Amiga, okay. Let's focus. Let's get this bad boy done. I don't know what's up with the Joker, it's freaking me out. I need to go faster. Where's the three? Come on. 
Yeah, 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 you mentioned that before. Where's the tweet? Did someone have a tweet? Let's get that four and then we got some fives. Love the skins. And there's like a frame. And the movement of everything is just smooth. I think that's the thing I oh crap, I'm going too slow. What is that, what is that for? Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got this. Oh, there's a time. Is there a timer? I can't. I don't want to look up. I'm busy. Ah, what, I'm on five. Five. What are we looking for? Five, six, six, sevens, and eights. Six, seven, six, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh man, it just switched on me. That's, Seven. Where are you seven? Yeah, yeah, that's great. I'm trying to get this. Can you like not do that? There we go. So you can't place, it seems like you can't place it when the joke is on there. Um, so it's good to understand the parameters of the game. Eight, 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 one, eight. Still missing that one. There we go. I'm curious if the suits are always in the same spot, but honestly, I should have less curiosity right now and just focus on my strategy. We got like classic rock type of music. Interesting. Okay, so that's the jack. The jacks are a little bit kind of difficult with that font. Uh, no, 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 what are we doing? Okay, 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 come on. Focus, focus. What's the J's? There's the Q's. Let's grab that one. I was grabbing random ones. Uh, you can't place it on it when there's a joke right there. Okay. Doing great. No, see, stop it. Don't be, don't be mean. There we go. Under six minutes. What you got? I think that's good. Let's check out some other skins. Those skins were great. Okay, I like... Oh, there's practice. I should have done the practice first. Okay. Oh, what? This is really cool. Okay, so you need to scroll. You don't want to scroll in the middle. You want to scroll on the sides. I wish it was like an endless scroll. Like you can go from one and to the other end, but that sounds like, <laughs> I think that's a little too advanced for Build Box, honestly. I'm sure somebody could do it with code, but not me. Okay. So this game is, if you like Solitaire, this game is totally like Solitaire, I think. I haven't played Solitaire in a while, but this has got that feel. Personally, I think card games in the hyper casual market are a great way to get people who have never played mobile games into playing mobile games because everybody has played cards. 
I hope you enjoyed me going through these games made with BuildBox. Let me know what your thoughts are. Have you played any of these games? Are you making any games? And if so, let me know. For me, the most difficult thing when making a game is to finish the game. That's the most difficult. And then after that, you have to market the game, which is like also ridiculously difficult. And most people, I preferably would rather focus on making games than marketing games. Thanks for hanging out. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, stay safe out there and peace.